What is up, y'all? I am back with the Halloween Ends movie. So let's get into this thing. All right, y'all. So the movie starts off, and we get introduced to this couple, and they have a son, and they're about to go off to a Halloween party, okay? So before they go to the Halloween party, they have to wait till the babysitter gets there. So the babysitter, Corey, he gets there. All right, and before um, the parents leave, they give the parent, they give the babysitter a set of rules. Hey, my child, don't hit no more sweets, no more video games. Just get him settled down so he can go to bed or whatever. So the parents leave, and you know the child starts acting out. So in front of the parents or whatever, he a good little angel. But when they leave, his true color show. Okay, so the little boy is starting to act a whole little mess or whatever, and. He end up pulling some prank on Corey or whatever. He get him trapped in this room. And he over here like, get me out, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. So he just kicking and kicking and kicking and kicking at the door. So this is like, fast forward, the parents about to come home. Okay. And he end up doing this last little kick, okay, at the door. And the little boy falls off the stairs. They on the top floor. The little boy just fall. And as his parents are walking in, all they see is their child fall from the top of the dog on floor, hit the ground, and he just bleeding out. And he just looking like, and the parents run in. He's like, oh my gosh, what? Like, what just happened? Like, whoop. All right, so fast forward. So now, Corey, he has a reputation in the town, you know, for being kind of like this babysitter, killer, pedo. They was calling him all types of stuff. So we see him. Um, well, actually, we get to see Lori and Allison, you know, seeing how they're doing. Look like they're doing good in life or whatever. You know, Lori, she's not letting the past hold her or fear hold her, a.k.a. Michael. So she knows she finally got a house. She's not all scared and how she was in the last movie. So the kids, they pull up on Corey. And they bullying him, messing with him, you know, calling him a pedo. You know, he just killed this kid. So, you know, they call him a babysitter, a babysitter killer or whatever. So he got this drink in his hand and he just getting real frustrated and aggravated. And then he kind of just break it in his hand. They're like, oh, like you feeling broke. You're like, what, what you about to do? Like, whoa, whoa. So Lori, she ended up pulling up. And then she like, hey, leave the kid alone or whatever. And they're just like, oh, a freak hanging with a freak. Mm typical like i mean your brother over here he killing everybody around here and he just got done killing this child like no no wonder why you're defending him no wonder okay so the kids they ended up leaving him alone they walking into the gas station or whatever and lori pulled out this knife and she was like you thinking what i'm thinking and hold up now when i seen this i'm like lori what you about to do but she ended up you know they pointed the cameras to the tires and i'm like okay okay so they end up you know putting you know some holes in the tire or whatever so you know they couldn't go nowhere you know just to mess with them so lori ended up taking corey to the hospital where allison works at okay so she get there so they lori end up taking corey to the hospital where allison worked at so he over here getting his hand worked on, the doctor pulling his stuff out. Allison walked in immediately. He could not take his eyes off of her. She was feeling him too. And then the doctor was like, yeah, she's pretty, isn't she? Or whatever. And so then the doctor ended up making a mistake or whatever. And then she's, he just started yelling at Allison. And then Allison ended up, she just fixed him up or whatever. So that get done or whatever. And, you know, Allison, she tried to shoot her shot like, hey, you know, you want to hang out sometime or whatever. We'll, we'll be kind of turning her down a little bit. He turned her down. All right, so jump scene, we see Lori and Allison there at the house. And Lori and Allison, she was just like, you tried to set me up with him. And she was just like, I mean, what? Like, you know, you, know, you needed somebody or whatever. Woo -woo -woo. So I got you somebody. Now, mind you, it's this Halloween party coming up. And Allison wants to go or whatever. But she don't want to go by herself because, you know, just stuff be weird happening. So later on. They ended up running back into each other or something. So Corey and Allison, they end up going to the Halloween party. They on the floor dancing, having a good time. And Corey, he ended up, you know, leaving the dance floor or whatever. He about to go and get him a drink. So as he's going to the bar to get him something to drink, across from him is the mom of the uh, son he killed. And, you know, she's just going off on him. Like, you know, why are you having fun? Why are you partying? I'm over here grieving and you over here partying and having fun. Like, what is going on? Not those exact words, but I'm kind of paraphrasing what she said. 
And so Alex ended up, ended up coming up and Corey just kind of just take off run or whatever. And he just like, man, like, you don't know what it is, like what it's like for me or whatever, like ever since this happened to me. And I know uh, you survived Michael Myers or whatever, but you don't know how this feels or whatever. He just kind of like belittled. First of all, he kind of belittled her a little bit, like what she going through. First of all, it's more than a uh, she survived the Michael Myers attack. First of all, that is her uncle. This is way deeper than what he understands. Okay. But anyway, he ended up leaving like, I'm done. Like, I can't do this. Like, this is just too much for me or whatever. Woo. So as he's like walking home or whatever, them four kids from the gas station, they end up pulling back up on him, messing with him. So one of, one of the dudes, he get out the car and he like, hey, you know, like, you know, just give me a handshake or whatever. And Corey is not entertaining this. He is not in the mood for this. And you know, one of the other girls in the car, she's like, just leave him alone. Like, why you gotta do that? Why you gotta do all that? Why you gotta mess with him? So they ended up, they started fighting him or whatever, messing with him. And they ended up basically just throwing him over this bridge. They almost killed him. They almost killed this dude. And then, you know, they over here like, yo, you could have killed him. Is he dead? Like, he was like, I ain't seen nothing. He failed. That's my story. Like, he failed. That he failed. Like, let's go. So they all leave or whatever. And we pan down to where Corey at. Michael Myers pulls him into the cave that he's at. Okay, so Michael, he get him, he pull him into the cave, and all we see, uh, we see this is our first look at Michael, and we see Corey. You know, they just looking into his eyes, and he kind of just gets scared, and he run out or whatever. So immediately when he runs out, this homeless looking man down here, he like, yo, why did he let you leave? Like normally anybody he taking there, they don't leave. So what's so special about you? Instantly, Corey kill him. He kills the dude he just start he just started stabbing him i'm like what what is going on like he just killed this man for no reason so, so anyway he ended up going to go and see he ended up going to see Lori. i mean allison um mind you Lori and allison they live together so whatever so allison she's typing up a paper or whatever you know seeing what's going on like you know just type in so she get this feeling like, you know, something's off. So she go up to the window or whatever, and she see Corey outside. You know, he kind of standing like, like behind like this bush or whatever, looking at the house, kind of giving Michael Meyer vibes. Not gonna lie. And instantly, Lori, you know, you know, Lori looking like, all right. So she end up going downstairs at the house to see, you know, what's going on or whatever. Like, what's up with this dude? Like, this is giving very much michael Wa michael meyer weird vibes or whatever so she get out there he is not out there he not in the location that he was at so you know she's just looking and he pop up behind her like hey like and she's he scared her and then she's like oh you scared me like oh and then he's over here like you know i ain't mean to scare you like it's allison home like i want to talk to her and allison walked behind them shortly after all right and she like like what's up like what you want and he's like yo just give me another chance i can't even mean all that the other night like i got jumped like i'm just going through a lot like woo -woo -woo. so allison trying to play this little hard to get rolled she kind of walk off he follow her or whatever but they end up getting together so they end up going to this restaurant or something or whatever to you know get, you know get some food talk or whatever whatever so they there and as they're sitting there talking or whatever, this dude, uh, he walks up behind Allison. And he like, hey, like, you know, I gave you my number. You said you was going to call me like you ain't never called. Like when you're going to give me a call. And she was like, I'm going to give you a call or whatever. You know, trying to trying to let him down easy. And he just kept pushing himself on to her. Like, just kept doing all that. And, and uh, Corey, he like, yo, yo, she, she's not interested. Like, yo, like, go on, like, take a hit. And then he over here like, yo. Why are you with him? Like, have you not heard about him? Like, you need to be careful around him. So, Corey get up. He all mad. He like, yo, what's, what's good? What's good? And then he like, you know what? I ain't even about to do all that. I'm about to leave. So, he leave. Okay? And, you know, they end up leaving the restaurant or whatever. Um. So, we let's go back on over to Lori. So, Lori, ever since she, saw, she seen Corey come to the house after their last interaction something has just been off with her like she like something off with this dude like in her in his eyes she see like michael myers like that's not him the dude who she first knew that was Corey. this is michael like and she's getting them same feelings so she's going around asking people like 
well, she went and asked his mom. She went to go and talk to his mom first. Like, is there anything different about him? Anything off? And, you know, the mom just kind of like, you know, ever since, you know, that accident happened with him and the kid, everybody just kind of been turning their back on him. They not treating him the same. Like, so she was just, I can't do this. Like, I can't, I can't talk to you or whatever. You know, the mama, she's not really giving out, giving up any informational juice or whatever. So, Lori Lee, so she goes to this bar or whatever, and she's talking to people like, yo, what's up with, what's up with this man or whatever. You know, different people, they over here like, you know, he just, he just weird. You know, he just, he just not the same. And she ended up talking to the dad. Um, She ended up talking to the dad that, um, of the son that he killed or whatever. And then he like, you know, I know that when he killed my son, it was an accident. And that dude, he didn't mean to kill my son, you know. But I had, you know, I was driving down the street one day, you know, just to check on him, see what's going on with him. And he, that was not him. Like, he was just, you know, different. Like, that that was the, a, a different dude. Like, he's not the same or whatever. Ooh, ooh. Um, so, you know, Lori, she just kind of gathering her stuff up. And she like, yo, like, this is... Mm. I think my senses are pointing to the right place. Like, this is not... The math ain't mathing or whatever. So we end up going, we end up, you know, seeing uh, Allison and Corey, you know, they end up, you know, they hanging out, just doing different little stuff around the city or whatever. All right. So we're going to get to the good juicy part. Okay. We get to Corey. He going back down there where uh, Michael first kind of pulled him in at. So this man is down here, you know, he discovered the dead body that Corey first killed when he got out or whatever. So, you know, he cutting at him, messing with him, like, hey, what's up? Like, what? what? And so, Corey ended up running into the hole where Michael at. And the dude, he walked in and he followed, like, hey, what's going on? Like, what, you, 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 you weird, man, you weird. Like, what's going on with you? Like, what is this? Y'all, tell me why we, we get to see Corey and Michael double team this man. They, oh my God. You don't even know. Okay, so he get the dude, you know, he beat him up or whatever. And, you know, he grabbed Michael Mike and knife and he give it to him like, mm-hmm. And then he holding the dude. He holding the dude like this. And all we see is uh Michael. You know, he a little rusty. So he like, you know, he been, he have been doing a lot of killing lately. Okay, not our knowledge. Okay, so he get the dude and he just like, mm, 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 mm. And then Corey just holding him. He kind of looked a little terrified, but at the same time, he looked like he enjoying it. And I'm just like, what? What? We seeing them like work together or whatever? Okay. So boom, that happened. That happened. Okay. So boom, jump, jump scene. Okay. We see them tag team another person yet again. Okay. So boom, Corey or whatever. He. Well, okay. When, before we even get to that, after he get done doing that killing or whatever with Michael, he go to Allison. I don't know why every time he do some like killing or whatever, he go to Allison and like you know, he, you know, Allison like, what's wrong with you? What didn't happen to you? And you know, he just be like, I'm oh, nothing. Like I'm fine. Like who? He just be acting all weird. Like this man is not him, and he just be trying to act all adventurous and stuff. He just be doing the most. Now let me get back to some. Now when they was hanging out on one of their little dates or whatever, like they was at this radio station, and they was like at the top of the building. The man was like, get down. Like y'all need to go on or whatever. You know, he just mess with him, calling him weird or whatever. Okay, just keep that in mind because we gonna that's gonna be essential later on. So go on. Um. So we end up going to see uh, Corey and Michael. They about to go and make another kill. Okay. So. It's this man and this woman, okay? I guess she's taking care of him. I don't know their situation, but she got on this robe or whatever. And then Corey ended up going to the man. He put this bag over his head. He do him. He do him in, okay? So the woman, she like, hey, whoop, whoop, whoop. she calling his name or whatever. No response, no answer, like, okay, so what's going on? So she ended up walking through the door and she see him dead, like she like, oh. and then you know she gets scared and then she see Corey pop out and then he got the gun. I mean, he got the knife, and then. They over here getting he she he over here getting scared, you know. He's trying to run into the the door. But she ended up smashing his hand in the door. But then, you know, she kinda opened it, you know, moved moved it his hand back or whatever. And then she shut the door, she grabbed her phone. She about to call the police, okay? She about to, And then she over here looking at him, watching him, and I'm like, Okay, good, because normally, you know, when stuff like that be happening, it be like oh, they be getting in or whatever but she watching him i'm like okay like what's what's gonna happen we end up seeing michael pop out the bed yo 
y'all Michael picked her up but he like put her against the thing Corey he on the outside watching through the doors because you know she locked him out and you know Michael he get the knife and he like you know she begging like no 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 and then boom you know she gone and he kind of like looking like taking his nose like mm, okay okay I see I see I see you doing it different than me I have more of like a <clears throat> and you got more of like a sneaking in like yeah I need that so jump scene we see Lauren we see Lori in the house with Corey. He's sleeping or whatever. And mind you, this is the house. He's sleeping in this house where the boy, like, he killed, died. Okay? So, she over here, like, you know, I know this is not you. Like, let me help you. You know. Ooh. And then he, like, you know, <laughs> girl, go on. And then, you know, Lori over here telling him, like, leave my granddaughter out of this. And he over here, like, you know, you should have surrendered yourself to Michael a long time ago, okay? And none of this would be happening to you or whatever. Ooh. Kind of like how I did. I surrendered myself. You need to surrender yourself. Ooh. And then, you know, she over here, like, just leave her alone. Like, leave my granddaughter alone. Like, you just, no, you bad news. You trouble. And you know, he like, I'm not leaving her alone. Like, she mine. She mine. Go on. So, that scene ended up happening. He instantly called uh, Allison after that whole encounter with him and the grandma. Okay. And she, he over here like, yo, let's leave right now. Let's, let, let's leave town. Because they've been talking about, like, leaving and skipping town or whatever. And she she at work. And she like, you know, I'm at work. Like, you, you what? Why, why so sudden? Like, why we got to go so fast? And I'm like, come on, like, let's leave. Like, when you going to stop, you know, listening to your grandma live for yourself? Like, come on. So he just feeding her all this stuff. Because she kind of been feeling this way. So he kind of just egging it on. Like, come on. like you, you. After he convinced her over the phone, like, hey. Let's go. And you know, she agreed to it. She down with it. Okay. So we we end up seeing Michael and uh Corey. They're fighting. So they're in the cave fighting each other. And Michael looked like he giving him a beat down for something. Like, like you moving real funny. Like, I don't like the way you acting. Like he just boom, boom, boom. But Corey ended up winning this fight with him and Michael. So he ended up taking his mask. I'm like, give me that. Give me that little. <laughs> not like that but he ended up taking his mask and he gone so Corey is about to get it back in blood he on his little killing spree type stuff so the um people who who was messing with him um in the beginning them four people or whatever four or five he ended up getting them he ended up luring them to a, um a junkyard and he ended up getting them one by one boom he get this dude he get that dude he ended up closing the gate um, the black girl, she runs, she take off, and I'm glad she did that, because I'm like, yes, like, we not playing them games. Y'all, tell me why she ended up coming back and turning around to help. You should have left. You should have left. Now you were gone. So he ended up killing all of them off, one by one, slowly. Now, before he killed the last dude off, um, this is his dad's junkyard, he worked there or something like that. So his dad... Um, he end up, you know, he's seeing that's his son or whatever before the other dude about to take the shot on his son, on Corey. So he end up standing up and his dad died. <sighs> his dad's dead. All right. And he coming for the other dude like, ooh, I'm glad my dad, my dad stayed up because, you know, I'm about to come and get you now. So he end up killing him or whatever. He end up killing his mama, the dude at the radio station, the uh, apprentice lady. He just, he, he wiping off everybody slowly but surely. So he ended up going to Lori's house because that's the one he really trying to get into, okay? Lori trying to take Allison away from him, all right? So Lori, she ended up calling the, uh, the police or whatever. Like, hey, I'm about to attempt suicide or whatever. Like, come and help me. Come and get me. Like, I'm a, I'm a goner, okay? So um, she's upstairs and she ended up shooting a pumpkin. And he come in the door and then she like, did you really think I was going to kill myself? Did you really think I was going to kill myself? And then she ended up giving him two shots to the body. Bah, bah. So they end up downstairs or whatever. You know, he shot. So she ended up aiming the other two at the um, ceiling. And she was like, you coming to kill me? K 
kill me. Do what you can to do or whatever. So as this is happening or whatever, they have a little talk or whatever. Allison is about to pull up. She about to come in the house and she's like, yeah, Allison about to see all of this. Allison about to see all of this. Y'all tell me why he like, I don't even want Allison. In the neck. He did himself. He did that to himself in the neck. In the neck. So Allison walk in. Lori over here trying to get it out his throat or whatever. And then Allison just walk in and seeing her pull out the knife out of his throat. And she over here like, I can't have my mama, my daddy, my friends, him. They all dead because of you. Because this Michael Myers thing. I, I, I can't do this. I cannot do this. Forget you. Forget you. You just. Oh my goodness. She was just mad. She upset. She crying. She hurt. She think her grandma just killed her boyfriend. Little, and he tried to set her up or whatever. So y'all. Um. She ended up storming off. But Lori no. This is not the end. This is the beginning. Okay. So Michael. He's in the house michael been waiting to get a hold of lori and he finally is okay so lori she got the microwave going with some food in her or whatever she hiding in this pantry or whatever and this thing it keep flicking against the wall and she stops it michael hears that it stops so she goes to he goes to where it stop at so she holding her breath and she like she ready she ready she ready the microwave about to go off as soon as he opened the door bah! It go off. She hit him, but he he deflects it. Boom! They going back and forth. They fight. And they get they good blows in. Lori hand about to get chopped up in the uh, garbage disposal or whatever. But she ended up pulling out, hitting him, smacking him. Boom! Boom! They going back and forth. They going at. They going at. They, they both getting nice blows. So she end up pinning him, the man down all the knives. She slick. She she sliced him in his throat. That still didn't stop him. She put a knife in his hand. He he put he. He broke his hand through the knife. His hand is split in half. Split in half. All right. So after that, after that ended up happening, um, her granddaughter walk in, and Lori looked like she about to lose this or whatever. Lori looked like she about to die. I'm like, oh my goodness, like, cause we don't know who's about to win this. So she ended up slitting his wrist and all this, and he just bleeding out. So we assume Michael's dead. Police get there. Okay, so when the police arrive and they get on the scene, they like, what's going on? Like, whoa, they bust in the door. They see the Michael Myers imposter, aka Corey, on the ground dead. They come in, they see Michael Myers dead on the counter. Okay, and then so the officer like, you know, you know, they trying to take him in, but Lori over like, we got to do some extra stuff like for him, like. And then he like, that's not a, that's against protocol or whatever. And then the sheriff dude, he walking, he like, yo, we about to go against protocol today, like. This is not no regular bean. This he ain't regular. So they end up going to um, the junkyard. They driving him through town. He on the top. Michael, he's on the top of uh, a car. I'm assuming it's Lori's or Allison. She on top of somebody's car or whatever. All the police they following behind. All the people in the town they following behind. Everybody is following behind on the way to watch Michael Myers be executed to the fullest extent. Okay. So we get to the grave, I mean, to the, not to the graveyard, but we get to the um, the junkyard or whatever. Boom, they about to put him in this car thing to grind him up. Lori, she ended up giving him the final push in, and they like, start it up. Boom. Michael gone. His body is going. We assume that this is it. This is it. Lori has won. She has won. Okay. So boom, jumps in. We get to Lori typing on her paper. And she's like, you know, evil never dies. It just changes forms or whatever. So we get a ring on the doorbell, and this is a dude who been crushing on her this whole time throughout, you know, this movie or whatever. And he coming to give her some um, vegetables or whatever. And you know, they end up talking at the end of the movie or whatever. That's really it. That's it. That's the end of the movie. Lori won. Michael's dead. Eight out of ten. I'm gonna get a movie eight out of ten. I enjoyed the movie. I enjoyed the watch uh the double team in action we got to see michael in a different light how we never seen him before he worked with somebody he paired up with somebody okay so i don't know what's gonna happen i don't know if they're gonna make another sequel if they're gonna do something different but that's the end of the movie y'all um hope y'all enjoyed the halloween ends review be sure to like comment and subscribe tell me what y'all want to see next i'm out